this week on K-Nation. We celebrate the greats that have set the stage. Athletes continuing to set the standard. And those hoping to be next to leave a lasting legacy. Candace and the coaching staff is great. The culture seems right at K-State. That's a dream come true. I can have a bigger impact than just being a player here. Get ready, K-Nation starts now. As a Kansan, I'm awfully proud of the universities that we have in this state, KU and K-State. K-Nation, sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Ladies and gentlemen, they got him. Tonight on K-Nation, we sit down one-on-one -on -one with Lincoln Cure, the highly sought-after five-star tight end from Goodland, Kansas. He tells us why he picked the purple hat. We talk about a whole lot more. And we're breaking down the best of the best moments from a historic KU 2023-24 calendar season under Travis Goff. From the field to the court, which storyline stuck out as the brightest? Plus, we talked to a couple of catchers ready to call Lawrence and the Little Apple home and two twins teaming up together at their dream school. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. I'm Caroline Soro. He's Glenn Kinley and this is is K-Nation. We have a lot to talk about this week. None bigger than the first ever five-star commitment for K-State football. What a massive pickup right. for a guy who many people think are going to be the future yeah. of K-State football along with a few other guys. Goodland, Kansas native Lincoln Cure. He's a class of 2025 guy. He picks purple and I made the trip even over to Mountain Time. It was <laughs> a long way on I-70 for the big moment. Cure, the number two tight end in America, chose the Cats over three other finalists, Texas A&M, Oregon, and Kansas, he says the opportunity to play alongside a whole bunch of other Kansas kids and even impact the program, if not the state, it was too good to pass up. His coach says the journey is actually already impacting other kids in the small town of Goodland. It's been unbelievable. You know, it's been great for him. It's been great for our program. It's been great for our other kids. You know, I'm not saying we're going to have a bunch of kids go Division One right there in the future, even, you know, definitely maybe not five-star kids, but just be able to even have the opportunity to rub elbows with some of the guys who've been blessed to be able to do that with and see Lincoln kind of process this and, and go through this process on, you know, from getting offers to signing. And it's been great for, for our school and been great for our other kids too. Coach calls him a K-State guy through and through. In fact, he called him a homegrown Kansas kid. Cats fans will love that, I'm sure. By the way, we'll hear from Lincoln himself extensively later on in that one-on-one -on -one interview. Well, Cure won't join the Wildcats until next fall, we've, but we've got plenty to talk about for this upcoming season as K-State and KU are both picked to finish near the top of the league they this are. year. Yeah, The Big 12 released its preseason media poll this week. K-State checks in at number two just like last year, and the Cats received 19 first place votes. KU, on the other hand, is fourth its highest preseason spot since 2011 while receiving five first place votes. Newcomer UConn is picked to win the league, and Oklahoma State comes in at number three. And for the first time since 2009, K-State does not have a player on the preseason all-conference list. No offensive players actually for either Kansas school included, but a pair of Jayhawk defensive backs are listed. It's Mello Dotson. You see his pick six there against Iowa State and also Kobe Bryant. Throw up the chain there, the turnover chain. <laughs> uh -oh. They had three picks each last fall, two of Dotson's. He took to the house and that big hit turned scoop and score that you just saw from Kobe Bryant. Both of those guys will be fifth-year seniors in the fall. And of course, all of this comes with Big 12 Football Media Days just around the corner. KU will send Lance Leipold and four athletes, including, of course, Jalen Daniels. Going with climbing is Avery Johnson and four more guys. And the K-Nation team will send you yours truly. That's <laughs> right. I fly out tomorrow. I'll bring you all sorts of coverage on 27 News all week and then back here one week from today on K-Nation. Vegas, uh, I think the high while I'm there is 118 degrees. Uh, you know what? I'm better than you than I'm me. I'm just going to yeah, strap ice packs me. all over me. There you go. That should look good in all the live shots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the Wildcats and the Jayhawks have each added an experienced catcher from the transfer portal, and it comes after the departure of a couple of everyday guys. That's right. KU's Jake English graduated after being named first team all Big 12. K-State's Rafael Pelletier transferred. That's after he started 122 right. games for Pete Hughes. Yeah. Keegan O'Connor comes to Manhattan as a graduate senior after getting on base more than 40% of the time just this past spring with Quinnipiac. Ian Francis transfers to KU from Youngstown State. Francis hit 284 as a junior. Both guys have well over 100 starts in their wow. college careers, but they know the job won't just be handed to them in the Big 12. They're looking forward to competing, to winning, 
and to grow in their game in their final year of college ball. I just want to prove that I can do what I've done my four years or three years at Quinnipiac at K-State at a better conference and play around a bunch of guys that, that want it. I'm just looking to improve all around. Um, I wouldn't say there's any specific like numbers that I'm trying to hit or anything like that. Just whatever I could do to help my team compete and win baseball games. We ran some separate stories on each of these guys on 27 News, so you can check those out at KSNT.com. And 12 will be inducted into the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame this October for KU. It's the Orange Bowl legend, Mark Mangino. <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> along with swimmer Ryan Nugent, Kelly Rankin on the list, and Javelin legend and Olympian Scott Russell, also former KU player, and then Big Ten coach Mark Turgeon. By the way, he's a Hayden High grad. Oh, shout out Wildcats, Hayden Wildcats. <laughs> Some other K-State Wildcats included too. Olympic gold medalist high jumper Eric Kennard, Paralympian Kevin Saunders, and we'll call him a cat since he spends more time over yeah, there. Hybrid. Sean Snyder will be inducted too. That ceremony is this fall right here in Topeka. All right. Yeah, fun stuff there. Well, don't go anywhere. Coming up on K Nation, these twins are both Jayhawks, but in different sports. How they wound up in Lawrence together, but why this summer is still a difficult adjustment. That's next. And later on, that one on one with the five star kid, Lincoln Cure, tells us why his K State commitment actually almost happened six months earlier, but the moment he knew Manhattan was his future home. Don't go anywhere. 38 Special, live, July 25th, 7 p.m., Stormont Vale Event Center. On sale now at the Cable Dahmer Box Office and Ticketmaster. 38 Special. Start your journey towards a successful career in trucking with Central Plains CDL. We're Kansas certified CDL examiners who will teach you valuable career industry skills. All prep work and testing done on site. Contact Central Plains CDL today. Ladyfingers Automotive, family-owned auto repair with hands that understand your vehicle. Quality repairs done at an affordable cost. When you're in need of service, repair, or towing, remember Ladyfingers Automotive. Minority entrepreneurs create jobs and contribute to the cultural and social fabric of our society. Join us as we highlight a minority business Wednesday at 6 p.m. on 27 News. Sponsored by FHL Bank Topeka. Play It Again Sports is your golf headquarters. Come try out a new driver or iron set in our new indoor tee turf driving cage. We offer a full range of new and used golf equipment from Cleveland, Strixon, Wilson Staff, Proline, and more. No matter your skill set, you'll find everything that you need to take your game to the next level for less. Bring in your quality used gear to save even more by trading in and trading up or get cash on the spot. We are buying all day, every day. Play It Again Sports, 21st and Fairlawn in the Fairlawn Plaza Mall. The biggest stars start their morning with today. Next week, the divine Bette Midler. Plus, we catch up with the NFL's most dominant receivers. And Monday, Scarlett Johansson and Alex Cooper, live in Studio 1A, only on today. Next live, Faye Dunaway from her new documentary, Faye, plus the new Bachelorette, Jen Tran. This is the moment I feel like the main character in my own love story. Monday at 11 on 27 KSNT. Well, a set of twins from Wichita have been KU fans for a while now, except they're not just going to school there in the fall. They'll actually be suiting up for the Jayhawks. All right. Will's headed to play for Bill Self and Nate for Stanley Redwine with KU Track. They're living out the dream now, but those dreams didn't fully come true until about two months ago. I asked both of them about their journeys to Lawrence. The Thingval twins did not want to split up for college. As their senior year started, reality started to sink in. Reality that they may have to split up. Nate committed to KU track last summer, so Will thought about giving up basketball to just be a student at KU. Until the day he got a call from Coach Bill Self. We were actually mowing my grandparents' lawn. And then I got a call from a Lawrence number, and I was like, oh, this is... It's probably him. So then I stopped mowing and I took the call. I just like was going back and forth and he was on the other side. And I just see him just like pacing back and forth on the phone. So it was pretty funny just to, he was like basically shaking. Will's already on campus with the team, but Nate's still back home in Wichita. So they're playing the long distance game until August. And they've had some hard moments. I mean, Nathan misses him a lot, even though we it's not long until we'll usually see him again. Mom says they're each other's best friend, but the boys say, they're also each other's biggest rival. Since we were super young, we've done the same things, played on the same teams, like fought for spots together. So 
Like we're super competitive. Even like in the driveway at home, we're super competitive. Obviously a lot of fights sometimes. This is how it goes. We're both very, very competitive. And with our older brother, he was always like the moderator. And dad couldn't help but join in too. We had some good two on two games. At about age 14, it got pretty evident that I was not capable. Now they're taking all that energy to Lawrence as competitors and of course, cheerleaders. We just got to watch each other and cheer each other on. Always will be the, the twin rivalry and stuff like that. To see who will, who will uh, succeed and not succeed and highs and lows and stuff like that. It'll be fun to watch. Hey, K-State men's basketball will play in Kansas City this winter. The Cats will host Drake. That's in the Wildcat Classic. They played Wichita State in this game a year ago, you might remember. That'll be December 17th at the T-Mobile Center. Get your tickets. <laughs> and one athlete from each spring sport earns the Scholar Athlete of the Year title. That's KU's Laura Tesco winning the award for rowing, and K-State's Haley Vargas is the league's women's golf honoree. Well, you had a lot of fun talking to the twins and their parents then. Yeah, I sure did. It was awesome. Mom says that even though both of them are going, only one car is making it to uh -oh. the so, so they're going to have to argue yeah, yeah. Are they're, they rooming together, do we know? I don't think so. No, it didn't sound He's like that. He's probably just got to stay with the basketball team. Yeah, they said they're going to go out to eat together a okay. lot. I asked. They said, we're going to go eat. I was like, all right. Yeah, I, Sounds I, good to me. Yeah. Get an invite over here. I may hey, here's <laughs> what you've likely been waiting for right after this break. My one-on-one -on -one chat with five-star tight end Lincoln Cure. He tells us about the specific section, even the specific seat of Bill Snyder Family Stadium he was sitting in when he told Chris Kleiman he wanted to play for him. Car wrecks don't just happen from nine to five. If you're in a wreck, we're available 24 seven. Don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. In a wreck, need a check? Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 Hi, Clay Sherwood here with Frank and Dean, the CEOs of Cube. And they want to make sure that you live your best pool life by keeping your pool clear with Pool Life Chemicals. Let swims and sweeps keep you cool this summer. Some do it because they have better things to do with their time than cleaning their home's windows inside and out, downstairs and upstairs. Squeegee Squad, Squeegee Squad. Some do it because they have no business being on a ladder cleaning their own windows, gutters, and solar panels. Squeegee Squad. Even do-it-yourselfers in Topeka, Manhattan, Lawrence, and surrounding areas are doing it. Calling Squeegee Squad in Topeka. Let it shine all the time. Squeegee Squad, Squeegee Squad. Discovering the perfect paint for your home has never been easier with Zinzer Smart Coat. Plan smart with interactive tools at smartcoat.com. Buy smart in store or online for home delivery. And paint smart with this advanced paint and primer in one. Say hello to Zinzer Smart Coat, the next generation of intelligent paint. Craving something different and delicious? Check out the area's food trucks at Tasty Trucks. With fresh ingredients, unique recipes, and a dash of local love. Menus and locations are at your fingertips at ksnt.com slash tasty trucks or the 27 News mobile app. Big truck accidents have resulted in big money for our clients. In Iraq, need a check? Call us today. Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 -0 -0 -0. Kansas State football has produced some big time players and landed some big time recruits, but none of them have ever had the five star tag out of high school until now. That's right. Goodland tight end Lincoln Cure will have some high expectations when he gets to Manhattan. I talked to him about why he chose K-State and how he's handling that pressure in this one on one interview. I guess I'll start with the obvious question. Uh, what made Kansas State stand out among all the other schools you were looking at? You know, really everything about it. I, I really don't see any cons at K-State. You know, I, I love the fans. I love the culture. Um, you know, the, the program, coaches, players. You know, there's really everything about it. I, I just love everything about it. There's nothing, you know, not to love. So, yeah. Did you dream, grow up dreaming of playing football for Kansas State? It's always been a dream of mine. I got to go to those, uh, you know, in the peak, uh, peak era of K-State and go watch Colin Klein and Tyler Lock and all them. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got to go to all those games. So yeah, and, you know, sitting in the sitting in the crowd, I always promised myself that I, you know, I'd be in that position one day. I'm assuming when they started recruiting you, Colin Klein was still there. Yeah. And then you have a, a change, and you still decided to still go with Kansas State. What was that process like? Because I'm sure that you had built a relationship with him. Yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, I might have been uh, sitting with a K State hat on a little, little bit early, you know, probably six months earlier if uh, if Coach Klein stayed there, but. Um, 
no, yeah, I was, I was really close to pulling the trigger there. And then, you know, obviously he left and uh, DeVos still had that really good relationship. So um, him recruiting me at Texas A&M was definitely special. But, um, yeah, you know, K-State, they, they were my first offer. They've been developing a relationship for the longest time. So that's really meant a lot to me. And uh, Coach LePac, Coach Kleiman, uh, Coach Wells, uh, Taylor Bray, uh, you know, really everybody. I get to be around the whole staff and I, you know, love every, every and each one of them. The whole trip was special. Um, walking down uh, Aggieville and I see my name up on the rally house sign, like that was kind of when it clicked for me is like, a, you know, I, I can have a bigger impact than just being a player here. When I tell you that you are the highest rated prospect out of high school to ever commit to K-State, what, what, what comes to your mind? I mean, that sounds like a crazy sentence, right? Yeah, it, it is crazy to think about. Um, but, you know, I, I stay humble. You know, when I, when I get there, it's, I'm, just, I'm just any other player. Um, so, you know, I still, I still have to prove myself. Um, you still got a lot to prove, and I, I haven't reached my ceiling yet, so just still working on that. At 18 years old, you have to navigate official visits and offers and, and picking something that ultimately, uh, if things go well, is a career-changing decision. I mean, how, how have you managed that? No, I uh, I grew up really fast <laughs> in that in this past year. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy to like go back and watch old interviews and stuff like that. Like just how much I've grown as a person. Uh, you know, I talk better in interviews. I do stuff better. Uh, I learned how to manage my time a lot better because you know at times it was 100 text messages a day, and uh, that was definitely hard to get through. But I got through it, and now I'm here, so I'm just happy. What was the recruiting pitch from Avery Johnson? Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> a lot of pitches from Avery. I mean, love being around him. He's, a, he's an awesome guy. So, uh, yeah, kind of the pitch from him was just, you know, we, we get the ball in playmaker's hands. And, uh, you know, I, I know his ability. I know what he can do, his scrambling ability. And, you know, that's kind of the quarterback you want when things go wrong and he can still make a play. And, uh, you know, I, I trust him to get me the ball. He can make those throws. He can sit in the pocket, make the throws he needs to. But when things go wrong, he's still going to make a play. He's still faster than everybody else on the field. So. You know, it's, it's kind of like you're in an offense that just can't be stopped. You know, the only thing that's going to stop us is ourselves. But at what point did you know that, that you're going to have this opportunity or even that, that football maybe could be something that becomes, like I said, a career for you? My whole life, to be honest. Um, from the moment I was born, I just, I, you know, growing up just playing football, I just kept promising myself and promising myself, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to be this great. I'm going to do these things. Uh, you know, just I always had that goal in my head and I never gave up on that. I worked myself to exhaustion every chance I got, you know, worked myself to tears. Um, you know, all those early lonely mornings, you know, it's just uh, that's that's really what made me um, had a lot of sacrifices. But no, I'd, I'd say this this whole time, it's not really it's, there's not really a moment where you see, oh, you know, I can I'm going to be a pretty good player. It's just it's the mindset like I want to be this player and it's all it's you against you from there. Can you tell me more about the moment that you said you, you said you couldn't sleep, went over to the stadium? I heard you briefly, but there was a lot of commotion. Give me the run on what happened there, and and you said you even remember the specific seat you went to. I didn't sleep from Saturday to uh, Sunday, um, so I texted Taylor Bray in the morning about at 7:15, and I asked him. I said, "Can you uh, you know can you bring me to the stadium? I just need some time to think." Um, because obviously I just had that feeling, but you know, went there. Uh, yeah, section 227, uh, C18 is kind of where I, that's where I sat and uh, kind of just let it all out right there. You know, K-State's where I, where I began my whole process and it's where I'm going to end my whole process. So yeah, just kind of let it all out there. Coach Kleiman came up eventually and we had our little meeting right there. So that was definitely a really special moment to me. I always remember that. Do you feel like you, as a group, you guys have an opportunity to, I mean, take Kansas State football to the next level? No, of course. And, and it's, it's really the only thing that I think holds us back is us. Um, we have all the ability, we have all the talent. Um, it's really just how bad we want it, um, how bad we want that to become true, um, because we have all the weapons. Um, you know, we'll have Avery, we'll have Dylan, we'll have me, we'll have, you know, always have a good running back room, we'll always have good tight ends, you know. K-State has a bright future, but the, the only way it stays bright is if it's up to us, we keep it bright. Yeah, last one for you. What does your commitment, I saw it a little bit, but I want to hear it in your words, mean to the town of Goodland. No, it, it means everything. We definitely got a lot of uh, K-State fans around this Western Kansas area. Um, so, you know, somebody was always in my ear about K-State. But, uh, no, it's, it's definitely really special to them. It's really special to me, uh, you know, just to be able to, uh, you know, give back to them like that. Awesome. Lincoln, appreciate your time. Yes, we sir, look forward thank to seeing you in purple. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, he does have an older brother already at KU playing tight end <laughs> this fall. A right. fun little family rivalry. But if you watch the very beginning of our show, you saw his dad with the K-Nation, what we really need is that he's yeah. proud of both universities. So are we.
Yeah, yes we are. That's cool though. <laughs> They'll have a little fun. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, coming up after break on K Nation, we hope you're ready to reminisce because we are. Relive KU Athletics top 10 moments from the entire year with us next. Searching for a career in advanced manufacturing or industrial automation? Manhattan Area Technical College's new industrial engineering technology applies science and engineering through theory and hands-on application of skills. Learn more at manhattantech.edu. I'm Jason. And I'm Donald. We're here at the first CBD American Shaman in Kansas. Everybody knows it's a challenge to advertise CBD in the state of Kansas. They won't even let us show you the products we sell. None of this, none of that, definitely not any of that. We can show you this. A lot of people enjoy the benefits of our body lotion. We're proud to say we're the first CBD stores in Kansas. We've been trusted to help our community and provide one-on-one -on -one customer service. Go to one of our locations in Manhattan, 21st and Randolph, and North Topeka. My name is Sydney and I'm a Success Vision employee. Every day I get to help customers find the perfect pair of glasses. But what's also cool is that when you buy glasses from Success Vision, you're enabling us to give free eye care to people in need all around the world. So thank you for being our customer. You're the one making it possible. My name is Sydney and I'm a Success Vision employee. You pay for 39 in an hour for less. Come see us today, Success Vision Express. Hi folks. This kitchen was recently remodeled by Window Design and Remodeling. We removed the outside wall, added 160 square feet with a sloped ceiling and skylights. And we removed the wall between the kitchen and living room to create an open concept. We also installed this beautiful island cooktop, pantry, and many other cabinets. So if you're thinking about remodeling, give us a call today. We are your home remodeling specialist. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you build a foundation for your college career, like transferable credits offered in your high school, earning your high school diploma through GED completion on our campus, breakthrough to a new career. Manhattan Tech, providing higher education. Well, no Jayhawk guests this week, so we're mixing it up. After we brought you the top K-State moments of the 2023-24 season last week, it's time to take a look at the same ones for KU. That's right, our top 10 actually highlights nine different athletic programs yeah. in Lawrence headlined by Lance Leipold's Kansas football Jayhawks. <laughs> we'll get there, but we start with the Gulf state of Kansas and it's Gulf University. We're talking about KU and sending both its men's and women's golf teams to the NCAA tournament. That's the second straight year that's Ooh. happened, by the way. It's actually the eighth straight year that the men's team has made Goodness. an appearance and they wound up finishing 11th at the Rancho Santa Fe Regional. The ladies took sixth in the Clay Ellum Washington Regional. All right, coming in at number nine, this moment was the culmination of a bunch of really good moments and outings, actually. Jayhawk baseball had the Big 12 freshman of the year for the second straight spring. Don Vegley was dominant on the bump, yeah. a 309 ERA in 13 starts, and he struck out 68 on yeah, 70 innings pitched. He was absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh, yeah. I saw him pitch a couple times early in the year, and, and you start to say, oh, this kid's pretty good. And then you get into Big 12 play, and he like, continues. Oh, oh, this kid is good. It just <laughs> yeah. felt like a quality start every single Saturday that he was out there. And thank goodness he'll be back next year. Let's do number eight. Women's basketball had a memorable season and got a slice of revenge in this one. The Jayhawks beat K-State in Allen Fieldhouse. Not many teams win in Allen Fieldhouse. I don't care what right. sport or gender or whatever it is. It's a hard place to win, but the Wildcats were once ranked number two in America. They were ranked 10 at the time of this game. This was right when they got Ioka Lee back. The Jayhawks used a fourth quarter comeback to win 58 to 55. Samaya Nichols dropped 22 points. Whew, that one was a fun one. That was awesome. All okay, right, coming so in at number seven, Clayton. Coming in at number seven. God, I just cut him off. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, Clayton. He's flying high, literally, and figuratively, he jumped a 5.62 meters, which is about 18 feet and 5 inches, to finish second in the country at the NCAA Outdoor Meet. Actually, that's his sixth straight Nationals appearance. Yeah, so he's wow. been doing, do, doing good Indoor things Indoor and while. outdoor combined there, yeah. obviously. But Clayton <laughs> Sims, uh, really good, and they produced a number of good athletes. <clears throat> Bryce Hopple, <laughs> pretty good athlete on the yes. track program. At number six, Jayhawk Volleyball earns the right to not just dance, but host the dance. KU swept Omaha in its opening round before falling to Penn State in five sets. An electric couple of days 
in the volleyball arena in Lawrence. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Horsch is always electric. Mm -hmm. All right. Coming in at number five, you'll see it here in a second. Jayhawk football building, building, and building. Literally and figuratively, we've got a couple of those in here. Lifefold leads kids to its first bowl victory since 2008. It's first time with bowl game appearances in back-to-back -back seasons since 07 and 08. KU beat UNLV 49-36. to While Luke Grimm and Lawrence Arnold scored three touchdowns, not total, yeah, a each. piece. They yeah. each scored three touchdowns. The offense <laughs> was firing on all cylinders. Here's another program on the rise at number four. Jayhawk softball got its first ranked conference sweep since 2005. KU beat Baylor, number 13 Baylor, I should say, in three straight games at home, including a 1-0 win to clinch the sweep and get the brooms out on the Woo! bench. For almost any other program, a memorable year for men's basketball, but for KU men's basketball, the standard is so high, it wasn't as special, but this win, we won't be forgetting anytime yeah. soon. The Hawks beat the tie, the Number two, four at the time, UConn, and the eventual national champions back-to-back -back national champions, too, 69-65. to 65. They beat some really good teams despite the end result right. of the year. They beat a Tennessee, they beat UConn, they beat Houston. Right. So still a pretty good basketball team. Here's another good basketball team, women's hoops at number two. After trailing by 10 with six minutes left, Zakiya Franklin's three with just 12 seconds left forced overtime. And the Jayhawks would not be denied winning by nine before eventually losing to USC in round two. She said after that one, survive in advance. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And here's number one. Oh, you think you're ready for the SEC? <laughs> Goodness gracious. The Sooners leave Lawrence and the Big 12 with one big L. Bean, Neal, and Heischel all ran for touchdowns, and Melo Dotson's pick six set the tone early. KU's first win against Oklahoma since 1997, snapping an 18-game losing streak against the Sooners. And Potter Lake got uh, the water levels a little bit higher because a couple of goalposts <laughs> yes. in there. Yes. Hey, don't go anywhere. More K-Nation comes your way right after the break. Is that me? No, it's me, your fireplace. Creosote buildup in my flu can not only be smelly, but it can also be dangerous and cause damage. Now's the time to have your chimney inspected and cleaned. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney today. Car accident? You might think it's best to wait and see before calling a lawyer. But don't do it. Wait and see can turn into wait and lose. Once the insurance company thinks you're desperate for money, they may offer you less than you really deserve. A lot less. At Devon James, we don't believe in wait and see. We believe in fight and win. Call us now and we'll fight for every dollar you deserve. Devon James wins. Call 888-8888. Hi, this is voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, just call, text, or chat 988. Y'all hear us blow out the subwoofer? It's TV's biggest morning party, live with Kelly and Mark. Boom, boom. Big stars and big surprises. Plus, are you rooting for me or against me? Don't miss the fun on the number one entertainment talk show. You think the other talk shows complain about us? They're like, it's too loud over there. <laughs> Weekdays at 11 on 27 KSNT. What are you guys most excited for this summer? Playing golf at the beach is awesome. When your chimney decides to join the dinner party uninvited, call Certified Fireplace and Chimney. We're the experts in chimney repairs and replacements. Don't wait for a brick to crash your next gathering. <laughs> call now. <laughs> Hey, the new book, Big 12, should be a whole lot of fun. We mentioned Kobe Bryant, Mello Dotson, make the preseason all-conference team. We thought maybe a few more guys <laughs> from, the, from the state of Kansas should be on there. Yeah, a couple snubs. The obvious one here is Devin Neal, but this is a loaded Big yeah. 12 running back mm -hmm. class, so I guess we'll let it slide. Add DJ Giddens to that list, too. K-State veteran linebacker Austin Moore could make a case, and then any of the three of Quentin Skinner, Lawrence Arnold, and Luke Grimm would have fit not to mention they had a three couple. touchdowns <laughs> each, we said. I know. <laughs> not to mention a couple of good quarterbacks, yeah. too. Interesting to see Jalen not on there after he was the preseason right. offensive player of the year a year ago. I think everyone's question is just, 
If he can stay healthy, they know he's one of the best in the league. Right. But that's a big if. Only time will tell. All I guess right. we'll see. Thanks for watching, Kane Nation. We can't wait to watch Big 12 football, and we'll see you back here next Sunday. Have a great night. you got to work for everything, so that's that's what I'm looking forward to. Especially when we were super young. Like, we would get home from school, and our mom would just send us outside, and we'd just play basketball for, like, hours. This deal's coming. They're, they're coming. K KU's coming. K-State's building. I mean, you know, it's coming. It's, it's real.